And in the bottom right position, representing Millennium Gaming, currently living in Europe. He is up 1-0 in this best of three series. Give it up for Gosu User. That last game from Ghosty User, nothing special at all, honestly. It was just a matter of I'm gonna make some lurk I'm gonna make some Zerglings. I'm gonna do a little bit of early pressure. If it does damage, great. I hope it does damage. But behind it, I'm just gonna make some drones. Maybe take my gases. Maybe go to a Roach Warren, depending on the damage that I did, or maybe just go into you know the, the very, very popular mutalisks. So game number two, um, we'll we'll definitely have to see if Hendralisk this for the same strategy. Or if he decides to go ahead and switch it up. Now remember, Ghost User's up 1-0 to zero in this best of three. If he wins this, he's going to knock Hendralisk down to the loser's bracket. So I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping for game number three. But we're, we're definitely going to have to see some impressive play from Hendralisk to go ahead and have us get to that point. So build orders so far. We're seeing a little bit of a variance here from Ghost User. A little bit different of a variation. Going spawning pool gas into this hatchery play. So... No 15 hatchery this time. He's going to have quicker zerglings, and he should have quicker speed there. We see we speed in the production tab here from Ghost User, and actually committing to four zerglings. Maybe we're going to see that very similar quick link front here from uh, from Ghost User. Handleless, meanwhile, on the other hand, taking the hatchery, which is going to be much, much quicker from uh, compared to Ghost User. So that was a 15 hatchery, followed by a 15 pool, and a 14 gas. So 15 hatchery, 14 gas, 15 pool. Normal, normal opening here from Hendralisk. Of course, the only difference here is his speed is going to be a little bit later. He is going to have a quicker hatchery. He should be able to get his first and second initial queen, respectively, to be able to deal with any possible early, early Ling Baneling pressure here from Ghost User. And if you guys notice, look at what Ghost User is doing. So he's actually just going to Ling Flood and try to take that quick 2-0 win. More Lings in the production tab. 20 drones for Hendralisk. 13 drones. For Ghost User, 10 Zerglings already on the map right now from Ghost User. This is going to have to be such a superb defense from Hendralisk if you want to take the second game and tie it 1-1. One one. Move into game number 3. Zerglings are going to be revealed. Speed is about to finish here from Ghost User. More links in the production tab. What is Hendralisk doing back home? There is the Baneling Nest. He's going to have to send that main queen. There you go, man. He's going to have to send it. Block that ramp. Get some Banelings on the map. Make some Zerglings. Buy yourself enough time. To go ahead and get that speed completed, or else you're going to be in a lot of trouble. More lings in the production tab from Go from Ghost User. This is going to be up to about 40 Zerglings at the five minute mark in this game, and here we go. Ghost User, of course, has no Baneling Nest. Drones immediately being evacuated here off the natural base. He's going to go ahead and focus down that hatchery behind it. Ghost User making drones. I love this build here from the Millennium player. Yeah, I mean, the least he's going to do here is kill the hatchery. But now we're going to see some Banelings. He's going to have to get some connections. Ooh, almost gets one connection there from Hendralisk. Ghost user trying to control this as best as possible. Going to send all the links in the main base to get some scouting information. Going to try to use that whole position micro to kill some drones. Work is lost up till now. Not much. Actually, nothing has been lost so far from Hendralisk in terms of economy. But now we're starting to see the supply count swing in the favor of Hendralisk. 39 to 30. Spinecrawler coming back in the main base here from Ghost user for a little bit of defense. Another bailing needs to get a hit. Ghost user controlling this again. Superb micro from both sides. Hatchery still up from uh, from Hendralisk, so maybe a little bit of miscontrol here by Ghost User. Could he have actually killed this Hatchery from Hendralisk? I feel if he did, he would 100% have an advantage just because of the mere fact he already has a natural base. So now we're going to start to see Hendralisk with 43 supply to 34 behind it. He's making more lings. He realizes, okay, this is a big, big investment from Ghost User. He's droning behind it. He did not have enough drones in the early point to actually be able to do this kind of an attack. So I should technically have more drones, and in fact he does. 23 drones to 15. Spine already up for, for Ghost User, so he knows there's a big possibility of this counterattack play. More links in the production tap here from Hendralisk. Making his way towards a natural. All of a sudden, we're seeing more links at the natural now. Hendralisk is going to kill that queen. Action just from both sides. And actually, Ghost User will be able to kill off this hatchery. And Hendralisk, is he going to fall 2-0? To, to Ghost User, Lings are making their way in towards the main base. More Lings being produced here from Ghost User. We're seeing that one spine already up, second spine coming up, third spine coming up. So he really knows that Hendralisk, uh, you know, if he's going to try to win this game, there's a big, big possibility that he's going to be going for that attack very, very soon. 
He has Baneling Nest, which is definitely a big, big win from Henderlisk. No opportunity at all for Ghost User to be able to afford the Baneling Nest. And he's just going for the counterattacks. He doesn't care about his, his natural base. He's just trying to kill as many drones as possible. Meanwhile, Henderlisk's in the natural base of Ghost User. Is three spines going to be enough? Baneling's exploding right on top of these spine crawlers. Those three spines die so, so quickly. Now we're going to see the Queen coming in from the main base. 25 supply for Henderlisk to 31 from Ghost User. Everything being cleaned up in the main base. Drones falling left and right. 19 workers killed for Henderlisk. And he sends some Zerglings and Banelings in the main base. If Ghosty User can defend this some way, somehow against these Banelings, he should be able to win this game. 10 supply to 17 supply. More Zerglings being rallied into the main base of his opponent. Now, what is in the production tab? That's going to be so, so crucial for both these players. 10 Lings are about to pop. Boom. Hit on another uh, one of these Zerglings. So Ghosty User actually 9 supply to 8 supply. This is actually so freaking close. Both players have like no, no supply. 2 Banelings, 13 Zerglings compared to 17 Zerglings of Ghosty User. How many drones? Okay, no drones at all from either side. Oh my god, this is going to be like the battle micro of the century. And it's like, okay, so this, this spawning pool is going to fall down. Units count, two banelings. Henderlisk really needs to keep these two banelings alive. and needs to get some really good hits onto these zerglings. Going to see the zerglings focus down this extractor. Not really the biggest deal at this point. You can focus down any, any buildings you want. But here comes the Banelings, Henderlisk, he needs to connect on these Zerglings if he wants to tie it up, but Ghost User just running around. Six supply to six supply, oh my god, I have no idea what the hell I'm watching here, but we're seeing these two Banelings. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in on these Banelings. These Banelings are going to be the game-changing moment here, guys. If Henderlisk can get some good hits on these Banelings, he actually just killed his own extractor. Wow, quite interesting. None of them have enough minerals to make drones. What is this? What is this? Nine lings, two bane lings, ten zerglings. Where's the lings? Okay, ghost user is actually just hanging out here at the third base. What a game. W okay, th game number two could not have been any better here, ladies and gentlemen. I if Hendralisk wins this, I'm actually just going to, like, clap my feet so that he can, he can maybe win the game, game number three or something. I it's just, I have nothing else to say about this. They have no drones. They have not enough minerals to make drones. They have very similar link count. The only difference here is Hendralisk has these two banelings. So they're both scared at this point. So one of them is going to have to have the balls to, to make it to the other side and actually deal some damage. But they realize now, if they attack into each other, depending how the micro goes. See, they both know, man. They know they can't attack into each other right now. Five to six supply. Wow. Look at those mind games from Hendralisk. He's saying, hopefully you don't see the drone, but he has no drones. He's really trying to play some mind games with Ghost User. <laughs> Ghost User's scouting around now, making sure there's no drones indeed. Oh boy. Is this going to be a draw? <laughs> I'm not going to type. That would be crazy. I have never seen a draw in a ZBZ. Ever. Ever. Oh, I think it's going to be a draw. It's going to be a draw. Alright. It's a draw, guys. I don't know what else to say but they're agreeing on a draw. And if you're wondering why is it a draw, none of them is mining anything. They have not enough minerals for drones, nothing, no hatchery, very similar lane count. These two banelings are gonna be the biggest deal here for Hendralisk. But I think what it's gonna come down to is it's gonna be a draw. Wow. All right. I, I can't type. So they're just gonna they're gonna wait it out. I'm gonna look at chat. People in the chat are, are telling me it's not a really good decision from Hendralisk. He's down one to zero, so he's taking a risk. If he loses this, he goes to the losers bracket. So if he can just some way, or just 
If, if Ghost User can agree to the draw, then that's just the safest thing you can do at this point. I agree with you. The two banelings should technically be able to clean it up. The amount of lings remaining from Ghost User. But if some way Ghost User controls nicely, boom, just like that, 2-0 in for Ghost User, Hendralisk falls down to the loser's bracket. All right, so we gotta wait for the draw. By the way, guys, I was thinking of uh, of putting up a Reddit thread about the stream, and if you guys want to leave any positive feedback uh, or anything like that, you're welcome to do so. Let me know if that's a good idea. I don't think there's a Reddit thread for this at all. Maybe we can get some more viewers, because even though I'm doing stream B. There's, there's still going to be some really, really cool matches happening here. Alright, looks like they're going to remake the map once the draw's over. 